Hello, Jenny from Tarot Reading London here with your Tarot Reading Mastery course. And this lesson, we're looking at how to write your own spreads and how to formulate good questions. Now, I thought that I would make the video for this lesson on the thorny question of yes, no questions. And yes, no questions are a bit of a hot topic in tarot circles or a bit of a thorny issue. A lot of readers don't think we should answer yes, no questions at all. Um, the fact is tarot is a little bit weird around yes, no questions. The, our instinct is it's a yes, no question. It's a simple question. One card will do it. Now, often, mostly, that's not the case. Unless, of course, we're really, really lucky, okay? So if we have a will I pass my exams question or we get the world or the six of wands or the sun, then okay, we've got a pretty clear, definitive yes, happy days, conversation is pretty much done. We could all move on. Uh, but it's very rarely that simple. Sometimes it is, but very rarely it's that simple. Um, Part of the problem is, of course, the cards themselves. There is no yes card and there is no no card. There are just situational cards and energetic cards. So the tarot has to communicate with what it's got, right? And we have to read what the tarot wants to say from the cards that we get. That's our job as a tarot reader. So um, we have to kind of read between the lines. Now, the tarot always wants to add value. It always wants to add a richness to the questions. So a yes, no question is a very, very simplistic question. It doesn't ask for any other information. It almost sets the agenda of the reader as being quite prescriptive. Will my boyfriend come back? Yes or no. If it's yes, I'll be happy. If it's no, I won't. She's already decided how she's going to feel and what the answer is going to be based on whether it's a yes or a no. Tara, I think, gets a little bit frustrated with that. So, for instance, if we go back to our will I pass my exam question. So let's just say we haven't got one of the big yes, feel good cards. OK, let's say we've got something a little bit more, um, a little bit more tricky. So will I pass my exams? And the answer comes back chariot would be probably yes if okay it's added value yes you definitely can pass your exams if you stay very focused you keep on your path you don't allow yourself to be distracted you keep your eye on the prize and you know where you're going yes you absolutely can pass your exams and be successful what if we get something like, will I pass my exams? Um, six of pentacles. Uh, yes, you can pass your exams if you ask for help. Because right now you're not owning the experience. You need somebody to come in and give you some assistance. You need to ask for help. OK, so we can read the card. We can we can, you know, read yes, if into the card. Yes, maybe. And so the card will give us information. Now, what if um, we get will I pass my exams and get the devil? What does that tell us? That tells us it's not the point. Whether you pass your exams or not is not the point. What you need to look at is your mental state. Are you focusing on the wrong thing here? Are you driving yourself too hard in, in pursuit of an ultimate goal that isn't going to make you happy? Are you putting your attention on the wrong thing? Do you think you need something when in fact you don't? What is it that's going on in the client's head that is actually not working in their favour? So it invites another question. It doesn't answer yes or no. It just invites further exploration. So what we can do in that, obviously what we do is we take more cards because sometimes yes, no answers aren't that simple. 
what we need to do is break the question down into smaller parts. So we can have yes, no as our top line. That's the information we want. But we have to go in and be a bit of a detective and figure out what's going on. What do I need to know about the situation? Yeah. What should I what should I embrace? What should I turn away from? What might get in my way? What do I need to know? So and, and allow the tarot to do its job and to and to kind of paint a bit more of a, a broader landscape. So what about no's? There's some interesting ones about no's because, you know, there are in some circles, um, the, uh, the, the pervading wisdom is if you get a big dark card, that's automatically a no. Well, yes, I don't disagree broadly, but again, you don't want to just be too slam dunk about this in tarot it's always a conversation it's always more than well mostly more than face value so let's just go back to the perennial question okay will my boyfriend come back and we get a five of cups okay five of cups would suggest a no right no you're going to be disappointed don't cling to the situation you do have to grieve it, you're sad, it's upsetting, it didn't work out the way you want it to, but you need to move on when you're ready and go and create something new for yourself, okay? That seems fairly obvious. But what if as a tarot reader we do that reading and then the boyfriend does come back? Are we wrong? Well, we've just oversimplified our interpretation of the five of cups haven't we because actually maybe what the card was trying to say as an umbrella advice card you need to move on whatever the boyfriend does or doesn't do is sort of irrelevant because imagine if you said to that client um will my boyfriend come back yes he will come back that client is going to go hooray I'm going to be happy. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the fairy tale. We're going to get back together. It's going to be lovely. I'm going to be happy. Thank you so much. I'm a happy bunny. Because she said yes, which was true. The boyfriend was going to come back. But unfortunately, what actually happens in real life is that that doesn't make her happy because actually what she needed to do was grieve the fact that this relationship is not what she thought it was. She needs to move on from it irrelevant of what the boyfriend does so we can make sure we can check in on that no by having a look beneath the surface and just kind of asking a few more exploratory questions before we give the client a definitive yes or no yeah we can we can have a little delve be, below the surface so that we can have a richer conversation because that's why we read tarot we read tarot to give the client information they can use and a yes no answer often is not actually the answer that is going to help them will my boyfriend come back yes but but that's no use to her because it doesn't help her make a decision she has a choice here yeah and that's why we read tarot we read tarot to empower people we read tarot to help people make good choices and to find happiness where maybe they 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 can't see further than than their own feelings in their own immediate feelings we do this for ourselves if we can be objective and and dig a little below the surface and not be too bound in to needing a yes or no answer in as much as I'll be happy if it's a yes and I'll be unhappy if it's a no and to ask for some for some more um, some more richness in the reading we can actually use tarot in the way that it's supposed to be used which is to empower our clients so have a, a try of a couple of yes no readings have the yes no reading as a top line and then make a little spread underneath four or five cards which give you an overview of the situation. Don't be kind of suckered into thinking that a yes, no reading is automatically a simple yes or a no, because often it isn't. And that's where things go wrong. Yes. So let's try that. Let's try do a couple of readings around yes, no, with a bit more exploration and see what comes out of it. See if you can find the definitive yes, no, but and what do i think 
about the situation and see what happens. It's fascinating. Tarot does a great job when we give it the room to actually play to its strengths. Okay, so I hope this has been interesting. I hope it's cleared up a little bit of the confusion around the simple yes no reading and why tarot is is uh, is is so tricky around those areas have fun with it and i will see you the next time thank you bye bye